<laughs> Hello, Lulus. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel, guys. It's been a while since I have sat down and talked with you guys. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for being so supportive and still following my channel, subscribing. Um, I just recently started up a blog. A blog. Um, it is uh, Miss Serenity Smith Babies dot com um also guys make sure you're following me on instagram my name is miss renee smith on there as well and um also join the chatterbox so i am encouraging everyone to join the chatterbox um it's um uh, more of people that truly want to support the channel etc etc that's basically um the purpose of it and then we um hang out do lives whatever whatever but nevertheless i appreciate all of you guys all your views um shares and all that likes comments all that is very appreciative appreciate it sorry um so i have baby phoebe here and baby phoebe is my willow awake um, sculpted by Claire Teller. She's a very, very special baby to me because she is painted by myself. And um, I'm just in awe of her, which is crazy to say and not to sound arrogant, but I just was amazed of what I was able to accomplish with her. So um, like I always say in all my videos, and I say this because I, I like to continue to remain humble as I grow and I also like to remind people that this is art and that is nothing is perfect no matter how good it may look to you and how perfect it may look um, when you're looking up close with the close eye you may find something that is not perfect and like sometime if you look in her pictures you'll see a little mark um right there and like right here on her elbow um it's lighter than a little lighter than the rest of her it's where i didn't realize that i had rubbed the paint while i was painting and then when it cured that's how it cured and then you know so on and so forth and i didn't really go back and correct it so she has a um so it almost looked like it's a a scar a heel scar or something I don't know I don't know it 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 can easily be like oh I did it on purpose but I really did it um is what I'm saying but you know for the most part she is my amazing baby and I know a lot of people were rating their babies and if I had to rate Phoebe on a scale from 1 to 10 um hmm let me think about that now, if I had to rate her strictly off emotions, based off of what I was trying to accomplish, what I consider to be a dream baby for myself, um, as far as how I feel about her, it would be a 10. Um, it's something magical about her. She laid in here in just a diaper and... Um, she laid in here in just a diaper um, the other day <laughs> for days because with her binky in her mouth and I usually don't put a pacifier in her mouth but because I just loved walking in the room and it was the first thing I saw and she just looked so real I just could not do anything different with her and you know I always test this but um it was just amazing if you guys don't have ky at home for the bottle nipples um you can use baby powder um only thing i i i was kind of excited to be able to use this is um versus the um baby powder yeah i just wiped that there um is 
this when you get through with this it doesn't leave uh the white donut mouth looking thing but it does eventually build up and you do have to wipe their mouth out so yeah so anyway um so yeah so like I said, um, I would give, I would rate her a 10, but as far as painting and everything else, um, of course, you know, I sent her to a professional rooter. Um, one of my, I have made a lot of special friends in this community, I will say, and people that I've worked with, um, tend to enjoy working with me and when they retire and stuff like that, they will still do favors for me for time to time. So her and Kaysen was rooted by the same rooter, um, just a, a private collector that prefer not to advertise her business or anything of that nature. So that's why I don't share that information. Um, but so I did get her rooting. Her rooting is a 10 by itself. But um, as far as her painting overall, and um i would root her a and i'm a heart critic i'm gonna say because i had a few little flaw thingies with her i'm gonna give her a seven no I'm going to give her an 8. She has beautiful veining, too. Um, yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to say... Yeah, I'm going to say a 7. 7.5. Seven um, I, would, I, would, I would rate her a 7.5. Um, I would rate Nigel a the way i feel about nigel i would have to rate him a nine um i'm lying no because i i i think i love phoebe more so i think because i painted phoebe myself and i don't know she's the skin tone that blends with me and my my one of my daughters, I think she gets the full ten. I think I would have to give Nigel a nine and a half, and I think um, as far as what did I say for the way I feel, painting for Nigel would definitely be a 10. Um, he is definitely one of the most, if I could give him a, a little bit higher, I would. He's definitely one of the most flawless babies that I've seen that Claire um, Taylor has painted for me. Well, not that he was painted for me, but you know what I mean, that I've had in my personal collection. So I'm gonna say he's a 10 as far as painting and everything go. Um, I'm just writing my willows right now, cause I. Otherwise, people don't may not know them unless they're seeing them. And then I'll rate the other ones, you know, so you guys can visually see them. She doesn't want this bottle. She's just playing with it. Um. Then, where is your top? I would rate, oh, dang it. <laughs> that was not too good. Okay, Phoebe. Hang on, babe. Wait, wait, wait. And put if I had to rate uh, Noah as far as how I feel about Noah, Noah's been around for a year. And I think in April it'll be two years. So He's been around a while. I think 
on an average because it goes back and forth with me and Noah um, now, now that he's gotten older and that's what happened the excitement kind of died down and then you kind of you have those waves so I think my love for Noah is probably uh, I would say a nine Um, no, yeah, I would say between an eight and a half and a nine. Um, I would say his painting, oh my gosh, because it's so hard to reach that skin tone and do all the details and everything. I mean, I would say... I would say he's a nine. Um, so, yeah. So my willows are pretty, rate pretty high as far as how I feel about them. It's it's my all-time favorite sculpt. Um, they remind me of the, the very first sculpt that I fell in love with, which was the, the Zoe um, by Claire Tellen. So, um they have a lot of different um things about them that really makes me um <laughs> love them so but this girl let me tell you something she is like undefeated in a um another thing about her that puts her ahead of everybody else is and she's so amazing in a sleeper i'm telling you like i can keep her in a sleeper like forever if she's not in just a diaper my favorite thing is for her to be like in long pants stuff like that sleepers because she's so freaking soft like she is way softer than noah and nigel and she just curls up and just it's just so she just looks so realistic like um because when they're firmer they the posing is a little you know it's limited it limits the posing out don't get me wrong Noah and Nigel are soft and they pose really really nice but Phoebe is like a little marshmallow and she just I don't know like I don't she 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 seems she's the softest baby I've had to date. Um my I had Zoe number two and Zoe number two was super soft. I remember back in the day I was like, whoa, this baby is so feels so nice. Well I felt other Zoe's and I found out that my Zoe was one of the ones that was a little bit softer than the rest of the edition. Because, you know, when people are pouring, I guess it depends. And I've been seeing a lot of people talking about um, smooth on formulas haven't been exactly the same. So some of their babies that have been, you know, have been fluctuating a little and stuff like that. So um, I'm sure that's how it goes. You know, they can use the same formula, but depending on the batch. But oh, my God. This girl feels so amazing and it's, it's like, she's right at, like she couldn't be any softer. She's, she's right there at the cuff, but she is so perfect. And you know, when it comes to that, you know, posing and stuff and like, I just love her in like sleepers. Like you don't even have to, I don't have to really force her into a ball she just kind of will go in a ball because she's so say i'm so fluid mommy yeah she's she's like the perfect girl and i i i don't know but anyway enough on that and this video is almost over so i'm gonna try to see if i can sneak in another video I'll talk to you guys about a couple more things but I was just rambling, I guess, with her. 
um so and talk about that so that's raiding my willows um i will talk to you guys in a bit stay tuned